What's up homies, Steve here. In this video we'll take a look at some Chan style riffs that I threw together. But before we get into that, maybe you're curious about uh, how you can write such riffs. So I've thrown together a short little comprehensive guide for you here. So I spent some time looking at how Mario and Eric are playing and what magic they're using to create these kind of songs. So I put together a short little guide for you here. So what I started off with was using the modes because when I looked at the things they're playing they seem to overlap onto these modes. And here are the seven modes and here they are combined. Um, yeah, modes are something that every guitarist knows but don't really know how to really apply them, right? So we can get some practice here doing that. Um, these will start from the low E string, but they can also possibly start from any other string. But for this guide, I'm just using, uh, for all the riffs and licks that I made in this lesson, I'm just using starting uh, the, the mode starting from the low E string there. So we can use these modes to make the magic happen, and you'll see how I apply them in my riffs. So next we need some knowledge of extended chords, and we also need to know various inversions of those um, extended chords too. So this is what Chan gives Chan that, you know, that jazzy sound they have. Uh, so what you can do is learn some extended chords and then you can start messing with the fingering because you're seeing a lot of their songs, that's what they do. And you can get some really cool sounds out of that. So coupled with this we need to know some chord progressions to put together so we can use these extended chords and then write our lead kind of licks and riffs over the top. Uh, with this you can go and find some other videos on how to create chord structures. Uh, Chan used pretty um, common chord structures using lots of 1, 4 and 5 major chords and usually the 2 and the 6 is for minor chords there. So once we know this and we've practiced this then we can move on to looking at technique. Uh, a big one that Chan uses is hybrid picking, so that's using the pick and your fingers at the same time. This is great for you know, string skipping if you're playing those uh, hard riffs and it also makes it much easier to play as well. And another thing as well, they use lots of legato ideas there. I think they try to have quite a nice clean sound with that little bit of overdrive on there, but everything sounds very nice and precise. I really do like that. And lastly, learning some of the riffs and licks from their songs would really, get you, uh, will really help you get a grip on how Chun play themselves, and it also help you when you're constructing your own kind of riffs if you want to play a similar style to that. So this is just a short guide, I'm not going into detail too much. Let me know if you do want me to go into detail and I'll throw another lesson together for you. Uh, also if you've got anything to add to it then feel free to leave a comment there. Anyway, uh, enough blabbering, so after you watch each riff can you guess which song and which idea influenced each riff and leave a comment below. If you would like the tab then you can get that over on my website and if you'd like a guitar profile and a tab then you can get that on my Patreon page as well. Um, if you do enjoy the video, please like and share it and comment. It really helps uh, get this video out there so other people can see it as well. And um, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.